Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Two left. It's horrible when I don't even remember where I'm at or what readings I've done for a zodiac cycle. And doing them randomly just kind of messes with me. So I know I got two left. Alright, Pisces. Alright, that means Capricorn goes last. Okay. Pisces. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the last Mercury retrograde of the year 2020. Thank goodness it's almost over. <laughs> I'm tired of stuff randomly breaking at work and just random, chaotic, crazy, bad things happening. It's okay. <laughs> no big deal. All right. If it resonates with you, Pisces, that's cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. So if it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings. If you feel like you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. So this really could have resonated at any time. I ask for the energies for the retrograde season. That doesn't mean that's what the universe is going to give me. So this could have already occurred in the past two for this year, or it could, you know, happen the next retrograde season here in a few months. I don't know. All things can be reverse of my, la, 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 if I can make words work, too much caffeine. All things can and maybe vice versa and might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here too. <clears throat> and also, oh, I'm going to keep saying it and I don't care what the repercussions are. This channel is geared for 18 and over only. It is written in the description of the about section of the channel. If you are under the age of 18, um, I don't advise it. There are certain topics of discussion that come up randomly in the videos during the readings that are not for young ears. And sometimes I will drop the occasional swear word, though I try not to. It's not for young ears. So just, you know, I'd rather you didn't. Not that I don't love you, but come back and see me when you're 18 and I'll throw your cards down for you. So, all right. Pisces, who's coming back to haunt you? Ten of pumpkins. All right. So, could be an earth sign person. Hold on. I got to go around the wheel. Possibly a Virgo. Okay. This is some, could be someone who's wealthy, has their stuff together, probably has a lot of money in the bank, maybe. Hmm. The trees of abundance. Huh. Okay. That's setting off alarms, you know. You know this is your reading. If it's not setting off alarms, I'm either really, really wrong or... <laughs> Or we just haven't gotten that far yet. So, what happened? Queen of Imps to so the Queen of Wands. She's very intuitive. She knows what she wants. She goes after it. She's stunningly beautiful. Represents Leo, if that means anything to you. So it all fell apart because of the Queen of Wands. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a second. This could be another person altogether. Hmm. The here and the now, the eight of pumpkins. Probably concentrating a lot on work, throwing energy into something. Hmm. All right, why are they coming back? Why are they coming back for Pisces? 
High Priestess. They feel the connection. Intuition, intuition. All right, we're going to look at these three after I get a little bit of clarity on these. So, Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards in the table for Pisces, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For this last retrograde of 2020, this last Mercury retrograde of 2020. Even though it's getting ready to go direct in a couple of days, I still think the messages are important, and sometimes the messages just take a little bit longer to come. Because I'm a busy gal, and I got a lot going on. And every time I think about giving up on the channel, I'm reminded by the spirits of the ancestors of why I was compelled to do this. So, I just keep doing it. Alright. Run through them one time, see if I can get a clarifier on this ten of pumpkin. Okay. Ace of Cups reversed. Card of Abundance. Home, family. The big brick house with the white picket fence, and the 2.5 kids, and the dog, and the pool out back, and all that happy jazz. But they didn't think of themselves. It wasn't. I'm hearing and I'm sensing. It wasn't about what they wanted. They, they weren't thinking about what was best for them. They were thinking about what was best for the whole. Okay. If that's ringing any bell, or sorry, setting off any alarms. I try not to use other people's catchphrases. That's, that's setting off alarms. Okay. Why is the queen of imps here? King of Coins, Two of Swords. Difficult decisions. It all fell apart. Do you chase your passion? Do you chase the coin? You chase the abundance. That's why it fell apart. Somebody had to make a choice. Pisces, I don't know if this was your choice or theirs. I haven't seen another water card come up yet except for that. Can I get one more on this Queen of Imps, please? Page of Coins reversed. Had to pull an offer off the table, slow going, stagnant, messages not received, messages interrupted. Hmm. Okay. I'll come back to that. Why is the Eight of Pumpkins here? Queen of Coins reversed. A lot of time concentrating on money. Money, money, money. Not getting anywhere. Not catching the catch. Not catching traction. Not getting anywhere. Oh, 
possibly not able to get a, go after their passions, maybe? Hmm. All work and no play. Hmm. Can I get one more on that? One more on the state of pumpkins, please. Oh, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords came flying out. Might be communication, but I... <laughs> Marginal at best. Chance meeting, maybe. Why is the High Priestess here? Six of Cups reversed. Why are they coming back? The High Priestess, the connection. Salty feelings. Bad memories. Two of rods reverse, three of rods upright. Hold that thought. Sorry, I, I tried to ignore the call. And then they called back. So it's like, okay, this is probably an emergency. I should probably address it. So it's been addressed. It's over. It's done. Moving back to this, looking at it. Okay. Really looking at it. Why have they come back? The pull is very strong. Soulmate connection. Not the best of memories involved in this, but stuck at a crossroads, can't move on from it, still waiting. Why is the three of rods here? Still waiting on what? Still waiting on what or why are they still, they can't let go. Four of pentacles, they can't let go. So there was a choice to be made up here when it all fell apart and things went stagnant. They've spent time working on themselves, spinning their wheels. Why is the Ace of Blades here? Knight of Cups reversed. cup was tipped over. I'm hearing they're afraid to reach out. They want to, but they're afraid. They can't let it go. Or they've been afraid in the past. They want to, but they can't pick up the phone. They can't let it go. They're still waiting. <sighs> I 
eight of blades. Wrapped them up in a cage in their own thoughts about it. <sighs> they can't stop thinking about you. That's why they've returned. They just can't let it go. They didn't make an impossible decision. But they didn't do what was right for them. Okay. How do you feel about it, Pisces? Death reversed. Your feelings haven't changed. Okay. Can I get clarity on that? Sun in the upright. You still feel the connection. They make the sun shine in your world. Temperance. Waiting patiently. I think this is what you've been waiting for. What do you think about it? Justice reversed. It wasn't fair. Okay. I think we're on the right track here. One on this justice reversed, please. Seven of coins reversed. <laughs> it wasn't fair. It's not going to fruit. Four of rods reversed. It's a tower waiting to fall. <laughs> Or the tower fell because someone was impatient and it wasn't fair. Eight of rods reversed. No hope for forward movement. Your feelings haven't changed. They're still... You still feel the connection. You feel the energy flow. They make the sun shine in your world. Your feelings have not changed. But... It's a spinning of the wheels thing. There's no hope of anything fruiting. It's a tower waiting to fall. And it's not fair. No communication, no hope of forward movement. All right, what are you going to do about it? Fortune reversed. Okay. One on the wheel of fortune reversed. Three of coins reversed. High Priestess, you're going to listen to your intuition. Okay. Six of Coins upright. Level with the playing field, possibly get closure out of it, but listening to your intuition at the same time. Why is the High Priestess here? Nine of Cups. You're gonna you're gonna do what's right for you. You're gonna make sure all nine of your cups are full. You're gonna do what makes you happy. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty general. It's your advice. Nine of Ms reversed and the strength reverse. If you feel that one last try at this is going to be too draining, don't do it. You got to do what's right for you. Page of bats reversed, six of ghosts reversed. Don't rub salt in an old wound by opening up the lines of conversation when mm, it might not be so rosy of a reunion. The Knight of Blades and the Fool, if you decide to go forth with this and take that leap of faith, make sure you know everything there is to possibly know about the situation. 
and make sure everyone's being honest and truthful. Make sure everyone's communicating clearly. And this Ten of Coins and the Queen of Cups. Ultimately, you have to do what is best for you, what is most abundant for you, what is going to fill your cup. Okay, Pisces? You gotta do what's right for you. Even if it's painful. Even if it's just another difficult decision having to be made, you gotta do what's right for you. Okay, Pisces, this has been your <laughs> retrograde reading. Oh, take it for what it is. It's not your message, leave it on the table. If it's your message, let's talk about it. Shoot me an email. I love reading emails. I might not always respond right away, but I do always try to respond. All right. Oh, I got one more to do, and then I got to work week top and bottom. And then I got to get a little boy ready for bed. So uh, I'm going to... Stop this one, start another one, throw down some more cards for somebody else. Know that you're loved. Pisces, be blessed, be kind to yourself, be kind to each other, and I will catch you next time.